So let's take a look inside. Well, first of all, we have a very thick instruction manual. Oh, 75, 76 pages long. So that's quite good. Oh, a little product catalog showing the other stuff that they've got, like flux and things like that. Oh, a game board. Looks a bit like, well, sort of like drafts slash chess, but it's uh, a four by eight. That'd be interesting. A tray with squares on it. I guess that's to put your pyramids on to do something with. Oh. What's this? A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a decagon. Interesting. Wow. A blank sheet of cardboard. That's exciting, isn't it? Ooh, now we're getting pretty. Don't know if you can see that, but you've got lots of different colours. Different pyramids. And that's what the game's all about. And within each pyramid, You've got different sizes. So there's a set of three in each of those colours, so that's nice. And then we've got the customary draw bag with Pyramid Arcade on the bag. Interesting. Oh, a load of different dice. Looks like a bit of poker there or something. Not quite sure. Some cards, something says black ice. He's a computer hacker seeking to be the first to figure out a code. So, I guess that's different games. Interesting. Oh, some playing cards. Looney Labs playing cards. That was quite nice. Oh, some smaller cards. Twin Win and a Cyan Nest. Oh, no idea what that is. Ah, a startup starter player token, I think. You can see that, but it says it's my turn. Turn torch. Oh, that's me, starship captain. That's definitely me. And we've got some boards, more playing boards, different ones. With about one, two, three, five, six. Oh, and there's some circular ones as well. And that completes what's in the box. So, let's see if we can find a, a solo player game and see if we can record it. Let's see you soon. Bye.